crazy with them, for them, and with them. It's up and it's stuck when it's them type of vibration. Yeah, man. <laughs> On another note, if I ever had you, you mine for life. You part of my collection. Don't ever get it fucked up. I don't give a fuck who, what, what space of time, what, I don't give a fuck. If I ever had you, you mine for life, you branded. You got a big blue mark on your forehead, motherfucker. Stop playing with me. <laughs> you mine for lifers. Yes, sir, Ski. What Forever let a little bitch push your bum back, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Hold on, y'all. I gotta go open the door for my Lalita. So wait a minute, am I supposed to keep this head? Shrimp and drink with da 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 best taste used by Do I supposed to keep this refrigerated? Damn, I think I was. I'm fucking up. I'm supposed to keep that refrigerated, y'all. I had it out all night. I took a sip of that shit and Hold on, y'all can lie. I know you watching. <laughs> Lie. I know you want to talk. No, you don't. Father. 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 Daddy. Can you go open the door for me? Can you go open the door for me for somebody? Can you go open the door for me? I know, but can you go open the front door for me? Okay, thank you. Cause it's cold. I don't feel like I'm. I tried it. Skipping. Mm-hmm. Skipping. It's open. I was gonna get off live. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Talk about get off live. No. <laughs> get off shit. Y'all see how hard I go for y'all? <laughs> y'all see this? Mm hmm. Like, oh, bitch, you want to show up three hours late and then try to regulate my motherfucking schedule programming. No, ho. You was late to the party, Yadi. <laughs> you late to the party, la. Why she come up here trying to rip? Watch. Okay, hear the footsteps. Forever leave her, you be push your button back, yeah. I'ma buy these hoes is a headache. I'm really his baby. He gon' slide when I'm ready. Had to let it go just to see if it come back. Touchdown. Run right to me. That's a fun thing. <laughs> Forever trip about a bitch. Push her bun back. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Already doing the most. Shut the fuck up. For real. <laughs> Where the fuck Ayla go? Call Ayla for me. Because she went to go get roll up. But I'm ready to eat. I got papers. Okay, good. Well, call this little girl so we can get out of here and get the food. Because the bitch hungry. What is it giving? Where, can we eat somewhere and sit down or is it giving lockdown? I think it's giving locked down again. It wasn't, but... Oh, my God. No, we can't go somewhere and sit down. My sister didn't want to tell me last week. Oh, yes. We need to. I'm going to throw in a, a sweatsuit, so don't don't mind me. I'm going to be dressed in two seconds when she get here. 
But chill, I was giving a rip. You know, giving a rip about a situation. My homegirl just called me and was telling me about some shit she going through. And I was like, let me get all live and give a rip. Why this shit fresh on my brain ski? Mm. Y'all niggas be trying. Where you get that weed from? It's we here? I see somewhere. Oh, go ahead and roll up. <laughs> Ayla had, you know, made a move. I'm going to ride these hoes in your headache. This bitch already. What's good in? Already. <gasps> I'm going to vibe these hoes in your headache. Mm -hmm. I'm really his baby. He going to slay you when I'm ready. Ah. Let me do something that's for. Run back. Run right to me. That's a fun fact. <laughs> Little booties matter. What you said? You said spray in the bathroom? Set spray right here. Makeup tutorial right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy these hoes is a headache. Yeah. Would you leave your makeup? No, my second spray. Oh. I'm really your vibe. He gonna slide when I'm ready. Had to let him go just to see if he come back. Touchdown. Run right to me. That's a fun fact. Forever. Press about a bitch, push her button back, yeah. I had to tell him, like, baby, if you care about these motherfuckers at all, tell them, please stay far away from me. Please. Please, if you care about their life. <laughs> I tell a nigga that from the rip. As soon, soon as I start talking to a nigga, it's giving. Whatever hoes you got to unravel, unravel them hoes for I do. <laughs> Before it's a sad story going out. Today on Channel 9 News, the blue bitch unraveled the bitch. Yeah, yeah, you did. What else y'all want to know? I don't be trying to answer y'all questions because y'all always be asking me. Like, it don't be questions, it just be statements. Like, everybody asking me, listen, am I single? Sometimes when I want to be. That's a good question, though. That's a sometimes when I want to be. Depend on the situation, how I feel for the day. Mm. <laughs> it's like, nah, I love you, bae. You know I love you, bae. Disclaimer, I got a bae that I love, and y'all fucking me up. <laughs> What's your thoughts about hookups? To each his own. Listen, don't be pressed about my pussy, and I ain't going to be pressed about yours. You know, that's what the fuck I feel about that. Next question. Because she's the only friend that's not a hoe. Because I'm the only friend. Because I'm the only one of my friends out of my friends that's not a hoe. And you know that. But it's cool because birds and feathers don't always flock together, but they're still my bitches. They could hoe out if they want to. I love a good hoe. I feel like they got courage that, you know, prove bitches don't have. Right, she live vicariously. <laughs> I live through them on game. Why you so hard to get? Because I'm not easily impressed. That part. That's why. That's the only reason. And you really got to get around me to, to get to me and good luck. Because <laughs> I'm a homebody. Like, shit, I rarely, I rarely be out. What's your cup size? Why don't y'all take a guess? I always let y'all guess this one because I don't want to give it away. Y'all don't listen to the songs. Y'all don't listen to the songs and not only that, I, the song, the, the stuff I say in my songs is my sister size. So it's really not really my real size. <laughs> it's my sister size and it sounds really good with whatever I'm rhyming with it too. So it's like a size I could fit, but that's not my real size. That's why I be kicking at y'all because nobody really gets my real size yet. It's just hilarious. It's given... It's giving. <laughs> Y'all would never guess it anyway. It's big. <laughs> big with a little back. Bitty guy. Big cup, little back. Yeah. It's giving. So so the numbers is like some numbers that y'all really ain't never heard before because it's just like a, a unique number and letter mm -hmm. combination. She said, brown skin, bitty guy, no nips. It up. said, <laughs> your nails are too big. How do you masturbate? Well... How do I masturbate? 
I haven't really masturbated in a while now that I think about it. But, I mean, I just roll my nigga nose. So, I feel like I don't be having to masturbate because I just give in. I just ride that nigga nose. Like, when I'm horny. <laughs> I'm going to hop on the dick. What type of guys do you like? The type of guys I like. Let's start with spiritually wealthy, emotionally evolved, and definitely got to have his own everything. Definitely got to have as much as I got and or more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just off of just a basic like uh, livelihood level. <laughs> you just got to at least be able to match my energy in certain areas. Um, but more so just like in a really intelligent um like grounded guy like a like a laid back type of vibe because i'm so energetic and fiery and spicy that i need a nigga that allows me to be myself loves who i am as a person but also still like is cool comma collected and could kind of like guide me in a way where i don't feel like he's telling me what to do but like he is <laughs> like i want a nigga to be able to tr control me but but don't you know if that makes any sense like don't be coming at me harshly and like weird vibes be able to control me in a nice sweet way i mean you can control me if i love you because i'm gonna do what you what you say if it makes sense anyway you're gonna get that extra all right bae I, you know it ain't gonna really be no fight if i really trust trust you and love you you know what i mean and you saying something for for my well-being or or for my betterment i'll never go against that what nigga i love for real so you know what I mean? I love a nigga that be able to, uh, yeah. I, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> and he gotta be, <laughs> and he gotta give tall chocolate vibes. If that's what you asked physically, I love a tall chocolate. Like, daddy gotta give tall chocolate and, and a beard. <laughs> yes, yeah, just, a, just, yeah, it's just a, okay. describe, babe. Tall chocolate, a beer. That's what it's giving. I love that type of vibe. But I'm not gonna discriminate. But I would discriminate against light skins because I don't really, I don't really like light skin men. Like I really, I tried. Like I dated a light skin man before. Um, like puppy love type. I feel like when everybody young, it's a different vibe you like, and then when you grow up, you it just changes. But he's very handsome. Like, the light skin nigga that I had dealt with, and love him to death to this day. Like we good friends. Like. You know, like, just solid just because we known each other for a long time. He's so fucking fine. He's so beautiful. Like, like I couldn't hate on that. Like, you you bright as hell, but you is so beautiful. Like, it was one of those. Like, damn, you gorgeous. But, um, but on a regular tip, like, my taste has evolved so much. Like, I really love a chocolate. I love a brown, brown, brown. Like, I don't know. It just do something for me. I love a brown, brownie brown. Like, mmm. <laughs> and it's like, I, I feel like I wasn't so much pressed on height and stuff neither. But it's like, now I am. And it's my cousin's fault. Thank you, Kasha. <laughs> no, Kasha fucked me up. My cousin Kasha. Listen. It's giving. She, between her and Peter. First of all, Peter you fucked ready? me up too. Because, I don't know. Like. My friends fuck me up. Now, now I need height now in a nigga. No, I definitely height. <laughs> I need some height. Because I'm 5'7". I just need a nigga that, like, when I put heels on, he's still uber taller than me. He picked me up off my feet. I love that whole vibe. I love to climb a tree. Like, I just love it. <laughs> but, but, but thick a little bit, though. Like, not too skinny and tall. Like, it got to be a little meat. Like... I like a I like a good solid leg. I don't like no scrawny ass leg. Like you can't be big on the top, little on the bottom. None of that. Cause, you were skinny, Cause I need a little thickness, little girth, little girth, okay. little girth, little girth. Better get them racks up. Split on that dick, throw that back up. Wait till he all in love for our act up. He was moving in a little too fast ahead of him. Hey, give me all your blood, sweat, and tears like I'm Dracula. <laughs> what you finna do after COVID-19? I'm finna go on tour. 
after COVID-19, if there is an after COVID-19, because we never know what the fuck's going to happen, is giving a big blue tour. That's the first thing I'm doing. All out the country, too. Ooh. Mountains or beaches? I'm going to go with beaches. Because I'm a summer baby, and I love the water. I'm a cancer. I'm a little crabby patty. I need the water and the sunshine in my life. I like the way the sand fell between my toes. Mm. But mountains are beautiful. They cold. Well, not all mountains. Mountains are cute. Mountains are cute, though. I like that question. See, I like questions like that. Send me more shit like that. More thoughtful questions. What's up, Germany? Not the refrigerator open. Who is with you right now? My Lala, my Lala Gabor, Gabore. That's who's with me. Um, what you enjoy most when alone? I love to be in the dark. I love to take like showers in the dark. Uh, when I'm alone, I love to meditate. I love to, mm, what else I like to do when I'm alone? Uh, sometimes I love to catch a good series. Like, I don't watch a lot of TV, but when I get, get a, when I'm in a space where I could be alone, sometimes I like to catch up on a good series, read a good book, um, attempt to learn how to cook something mm -hmm. even though i'm very much giving i'll get a chef bay vibes i'll get the chef bay it's okay but you know sometimes i get in my little cooking bag and i'll be wanting to um experiment right and i'll be giving a a, a blank think mm -hmm. i'm truly a thinker like i get spaced out a lot and i'll be having a lot on my mind so when I'm alone, I think I think a lot. Pizza or hamburger? Neither. I'm a fish girl. I'm pescatarian. I don't fuck with meat unless it's on my nigga. My favorite, my favorite hairstyle would have to be anything short and blue. I would say I love my waves, but I also just love it to be like a wild, like pixie. That's my favorite hair. You look so cute. Thank you, baby. Anything about Auntie Kendra? Anything Auntie Kendra does? Anything Short Hair Express does? That's what I like. So that's my favorite hairstyle. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I okay, so when he had his um Revenge of the Dreamers camp, I just I guess I get I just I made a great impression. And he followed me. I I was like, I loved that because he's definitely top elite talent, top elite rapper of our time. They talk about J. Cole. And he literally only follows like 50 people. So for me to be one of them, I, I feel like that he's a talent snob like myself. And he just real recognized real. It was one of those. But we got to work a little bit and stuff. And so that's how he followed me. <laughs> that was such, it was, he's such a solid ass motherfucker too. Like he's just a solid ass nigga. Like we just had really good vibes and stuff in the studio. That's it. What's your favorite color? Come on now. Iridescent. <laughs> Iridescent blue. Hi, Turkey. Hi, Turkey. What's up with y'all? Will you marry me? You gonna have you gonna have to get in line, Slam. You're gonna have to get in line for that one. I got like within this year. I'm going to say
two proposals? <laughs> two or three. I think I had two or three proposals, like real proposals, like nigga came with a ring. And I had to be like, slime, are you serious? <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -mm. It's only, listen, it's only one person for me. <laughs> it's only one person for me. It's the only one person for me, for me. Do I like to cook? If so, what's my favorite thing to cook? Mmm. I like to cook these bitches in the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I like to cook bitches in the studio. That's my favorite thing to cook. <laughs> my favorite thing to cook? Um, nah, nah. I think it would be... Uh, I love to put salmon on the grill. I love to make jerk salmon on the grill and I love to make lobster on the grill. My lobster toes and my salmon. This is how I got three proposals this year. And the salmon tacos. And the salmon tacos be busting. And my vegan tacos. My vegan tacos be busting. But it's given because I always I never play up my cooking card. Ladies. Here go I'm finna give you the game. I never play up the cooking card. I almost act like I don't like to and don't and cannot cook. And then at the right time, I give a cook down, and then it gives, marry me. Bitch, you ain't no hoe, and you could cook a little bit, and you try to play it down, and you ain't try to soup it up. Bitch, marry me. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't no hoe, but you freak, but you freak nasty. That's what it gives, you know? Mm -hmm. And it gives whatever I don't know how to do, I'm willing to learn. <laughs> it gives, I'm very teachable. You got to have a teachable spirit. Whatever you like, daddy, I'm willing to learn and try for you. That's what it gives. Whatever I don't know how to do. Because part of not being a hoe, you don't learn a lot of stuff, but you do. Like, if I've been in serious relationships, so everything there is to do with a nigga, I done did with my nigga. You feel me? Everything a bitch did being a hoe, I done did with my nigga. Only thing I ain't really did was I ain't, I ain't sharing. I ain't the sharing type, so I ain't got into no threesomes or none of that. But you never know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> it's giving you never know, and that's the beauty of it. You feel me? Nose pin or nose ring? I'm going to go with a nose ring. I'm going to stay with a nose ring vibe. It's my vibe. It's a hoop. It's a hoop. Blue pock, like Lala said. What do you think about India? I don't know. I've never been to India. India. How you feel when you're being rejected for loving and wanting someone? Um. How do I feel? Like anybody else will feel like shit. If somebody rejects you that you love and you want... It would feel like shit, but I'm trying to think, have I ever felt that? No, I don't think I felt that. I think I'm the one doing the rejecting. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been rejected before, now that I think about it. Like, when I really, huh. Because even in the midst of being rejected, I still get what I want. So it's like. I've been rejected within getting what I like. I've been in a relationship and been getting loved and wanted by the person that I love and want. But within a relationship, has somebody rejected me, like saying, like, oh, babe, I'm not getting you that or I'm not doing that. Like, yeah, a little shit like that, but not like no overall, like, rejection. You still working with thugger, thuggery? Yes, of course. That's one of my favorite people on the fucking planet Earth, first of all. First and foremost. First and foremost. That's the right way to say that, La? Yeah, it's um, first and foremost. First and foremost. Yes, a key. That's one of my favorite people on the fucking planet Earth. And yes, me, him, and T, I just did a song, and it's up and it's stuck. It's, it's, it's stuck. really, really, really fucking amazing. And I can't wait till he drop it. Save position. Ooh, I like questions like that. What's my favorite position? Mm. My favorite position would be... Okay, I like... Okay, y'all. 
this is TMI, but I like when I lay in it on my stomach. <laughs> Yo, I don't like you. And he behind me. And, but, oh, this is TMI. But his hands is in front of me. But, <laughs> I like that position. I love a doggy style. Doggy style, cause it gives the lay down position like went from the back laying down, and then and then it pull me up into doggy style and go crazy. Yes, I love that. <laughs> mm. I love that, cause I, my little ass love to throw it back like I got a fatty for real. I like to throw it back. I want to take it all. It's giving that. It's giving. Oh. Uh, you think you finna do something? I'm finna take it all. Take it out. <laughs> I like to ride too, cause I like I like to be in control. So yeah, there go my three favorite positions, y'all. Oh, no. Favorite favorite position? Sit on that nigga face. <laughs> That's the best. When a new album dropping. I don't have a date yet, but tentatively top of the year. You can expect the kid. What is your city time? It's 2.37 where I'm at right now. Ooh, they said Nikki a little Kim. Ooh. That's not right. That is not right. Kim is mother. First of all, Kim is mother. Nikki is not my peer. Because Nikki is, she she doing what she doing already. She only, it's only a peer if you right there with him. That's true. That's not giving a peer. She it's already right above. Place. She's above and out of here. So it's giving. I feel like it's giving. Kim is my mother. Kim is mother. And, Kim is mother and Nikki is godmother. Or big sis. Or big sis. Nikki is big sis, and Kim is mother. And I, that's all I'm answering that question. Like, stop playing with us. Cause I love both of them and I feel like without a Kim, it had never been nothing else. And I feel like Nikki paved the way for a lot of shit too. You feel me? So I don't know. I don't know. Um, beer or vodka champagne, champagne, champagne me. Give me that. Give me that. Prosecco me. Do you love Queen Irby with all my fucking heart and soul? Are you kidding me? That's my fucking baby. Do you hear me? I love her. Make sure you go check out our song called Sip. It's Sip. With the with the uh, dollar sign on the S. Do I like Argentina? I love Argentina. I live in the sky. Next question. <gasps> if you had to choose one rapper to date right now, who you choosing? Mm, mm, mm. I'm not really into dating rappers, to be honest with y'all. But if I had to choose one rapper to date right now... Let's take away, damn, how can I answer this without being like, okay, this has nothing, like, if they have a girl or something, this is no disrespect. I'm not thinking about it on the terms of trying to be disrespectful to anybody relationship, but it's like, I don't, I, like, if I had to choose a rapper, mm, let me think about this. Mm, today, right now, hmm. I'm going to go with Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> if I had to date a rapper right now, I'd probably be Meg. She's sexy. Uh, I can't think of no nigga that I would date right now without really violating any situation. So I, I'm going to keep that one quiet because y'all y'all, messy. So I ain't, I ain't going to go there. But I do got somebody in my head. But I ain't going to say it because... 
they got a situation and i don't want to be giving that type of energy but just based off like <clears throat> if they wasn't in a relationship or if they wasn't in a situation and they just offered a swag and they and a talent we still not answering it's given i have a person in my head but you just will never know okay artists that you want to collab i want to collab with um kanye i'm sorry i don't give a fuck how y'all feel about him i just i need to see it for myself <laughs> i would like to co collab with jasmine sullivan i would like to collab with SZA. I fuck with Summer Walker. I fuck with um, Lizzo. I want to collab with um, City Girls. I want to collab with um, who else? I like Mulatto, Meg. I love the girls. I love Asian Brat Brat. That's my baby already. Um, who else? Everybody else that I ever wanted to collab with, I already did, so. Oh, Kendrick Lamar. Everything inside of me wants to collab with Kendrick Lamar. First and foremost, he's at the top of the list before Kanye. Stop playing with me. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. Die line, die line, die line. And that's it. Um, who else? Um, even though it's a lot of controversy around this person, I like Doja Cat a lot. I think she's very, very talented. Um, and she pretty, and I want to touch her booty. We would go crazy in the studio. Um, mm -hmm. um, who else? Yeah. You got Ella number? All right, next question. I think I, I think I answered a lot of a lot of good people that I would love to collab with. I also want to collab with like, like Ariana Grande and like, she's so talented. I fuck with her. Um, I'm from Essex County. <gasps> oh, Angie! Never. You know we the bitty gods. We not putting these titties up. Never, girl. Where, where I'm going to put them? They right here on my neck. Where the fuck I'm going to put them at? I miss you, though. I miss you. I miss you so much. That's my big, big sis right there. That's my OG for real. Everybody say hi to my Miss Angela. Cunt, honey. Cunt. Miss Angela, cunt, honey. Stop playing with her. The most beautifulest, okay. most talentedest, most realest, one of the most realest motherfuckers I ever met in this shit. For real. Put me under the wing early. For real. I miss you so bad. Like, for real. Like, a lot of bitches be hating, be, be, be be weird vibes she can't and you know what i love a bitch that you could tell don't get along with everybody or don't don't not get along with everybody but don't vibe with everybody but then vibe with you like i love the exclusiveness of a bitch like that that's why i really really fucking love her you feel me because it's given everybody can't get up under her and around her like that it's not happening you know, that's my cool but she let me write in you feel me like she loved me and i love her and that's my baby all i know is these kobe kids with these titties up and out is doing a lot. Look at my little sister, y'all. Why? Why, y'all? Why? It's the titties for me. It's the titties. Yes, she make the titties jump. Mm. She make the titties jump. What's up, London? Shout out to London. Oh, Taylor Swift. Would I collab with Taylor Swift? Absolutely. Are you dummy? It's a record. For her right now. It's a record. I got a record for her already. I I got a record called Woman. 
woman. So it's like W O M B like that. That I really it's a country record, mm-hmm. but it's so it's so it's yeah. it's country, but it's it's, her pen is nasty. Her pen is nasty, so I will fuck with her on any day at any time. Stop playing with us. Me and her and Kanye need to just go on and get in the studio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna be a peacemaker of a lot of people. Watch. I come to heal the, the music industry. I come to bring folks together that ain't never Oh, Rennie Rennie, yeah. I love her too. I would collab with her. Rennie Rucci. I love her. She thick. She real thick. I like I like that. My goals for next year is to take over the whole fucking game. That's my goal every day when I wake up. That's all that's on my brain. That's all that's on my heart. I don't give a fuck about no nigga. Get get me to the top of these charts. You hear me? I don't give a fuck about none of the... It's giving. We could do that love shit later. Let me get to this bag, baby. <laughs> it's like, now, y'all, I'm in love right now, y'all. You can tell when a bitch really in love. I'm in love, y'all on the low. Bink! Hey, Binky! Binky! Binky, I miss you, Binky. Hey, Binky! Who rolled this? A lot. This is not the usual role, honey. What happened to her? She it's given. Wait, what happened to her? Mm. Yeah, she was pulling. She was pulling good until you got it. You must have grabbed it too hard. Mm mm. Don't blame it on me. Blame it on the motherfucker that had it before me. Ayla, she must have squeezed too hard. Ayla hit it with Ayla just popped the shit out there. Shit. Uh uh-uh, uh, y'all need to re re. It's not happening. Fix her. Fix her for me. Let me see what she giving. The fuck going on? What y'all bitches done did to my little Jay? Y'all, I'm finna get off here and, and call my best friend. I need to call and check up on my best friend, y'all. Mm. I'm gonna get back on here with y'all. Let me just call and check up on.